course introduction and overview. Hi, welcome, Richard here. Now, in this video, the intention is to give you a quick overview of the whole course, and I'm going to run through the core content, how it's structured, just to give you a good idea of what's involved and what, uh, what you've got to look forward to. Now, the first section we want to talk about and concentrate on is timing. Why now? is the perfect time to publish children's books. Well, I put it all down to a perfect marketing storm, which has been brewing really for the last six months to a year. Um, when you get supply, demand and price all perfectly aligned, um, you, then the timing is perfect for real positive activity. And we've got exactly that. We've got uh, distribution of physical devices, or I'm talking about um, reading devices such as uh, iPads and um, Kindle devices worldwide. We've got the demand. Uh, in this case, we're talking about children, children's demand as well as adult demand for uh, ebooks, particularly because of the release of color devices. And then we've got the supply of ebooks, with because and that is us. We're talking about us as indie authors. Indie being short for independent authors. You and I, we we have finally the dam has been broken and the flood of books that we've wanted to write or have written and not got published has been released and. Uh, because the barriers have been brought down by the the likes and platforms such as uh, Kindle, Amazon's Kindle. And then the price is perfect because it's a perfect impulse buy um, because uh, the costs are very minimal. Either there's no cost or very minimal cost for creating books and putting them online. Certainly no cost for putting them online. And then the actual distribution cost is minor. It's a few cents for actually deliverability. So compared to offline, the price is great. Um, the price is low and it's an impulse buy. So perfect marketing storm. Now is the time to get going. Next section we want to talk about text and illustrations and we, when we're talking about text we're talking about the storyline, the actual content of the book and then illustrations. Both very important and both have got two options. Either we do it ourselves or we outsource and get other people to do it for us. And I, in both instances I tell exactly how you do that and when we talk about illustrations actually I'm assuming that you're not an illustrator some people it's great if you are but the vast majority certainly myself I'm not an illustrator but there are many techniques which I'm going to show you in this course um, to so you can actually create your books from scratch yourself um, uh, without actually having to illustrate it yourself okay next section um, this is where I get into the core of it and I actually give you the real uh, useful and innovative techniques I think for creating children's books and they're all very popular. The first one, uh, we've got six, is uh, the first one is uh, text and image and that's a simple textbook where you write a story and you get it illustrated. Um, we all know about that. The next is spot the difference type of book. Kids love this. Um, I think you, you'll get a good idea from these descriptions alone what these books are about. And I show you in sort of over my shoulder videos how to go about and create books in the genre, each and every one of them. Then we have an alternative outcome book. Kids really like that. This is That's a new type of book. Then we've got a Where's Wally type book, a photograph book, and a cartoon type book. And all of these I show you how to do all very popular at the moment. Okay, then moving on from that, we need format. What we've created, we need to put it into a format which is acceptable for Kindle, Kindle's publishing platform. And there's a few tips and tricks as to how to do that correctly so that you get accepted first time when you upload your book. Uh, I show you how to do it manually and then I show you how to do it using uh, a small little piece of software. Easy to do. Then we we get into some of the, um, I suppose you could look at the marketing essentials. They're essentials that have to be apparent on your sales page. We're talking about Kindle. They give you a sales page for your book and you need to get all these different elements right so that they, you become visible and noticeable. Um, to your customers, your potential customers. And, and these are, in particular, the book title, the cover image, we've talked about that, and we'll talk in much more depth about that. Author's name or pen name, book descriptions, category and subcategories, tags, and price. Perfect pricing point to get your sales going. 
Okay, then finally, we're ready to upload, and there's uh, a small, simple process we go through. Again, we can either do it manually, doesn't take long to do. I'll show you with a little video how to do that. Or we can use some push-button software and get that done in very quickly. Okay, and then, what do we do? We're published on Kindle. Um, it's about marketing tactics. Um, do we stay exclusive to Kindle? This, this particular section is really about talking about the advantages and the pros and cons of staying exclusively to Amazon's Kindle or actually going and putting your books on other platforms. Now, that's a whole different course, putting your books onto other platforms, but we need to decide whether we should just stay with Kindle, what are the pros and cons, what are the advantages, or should we actually have, um, should we spread our net wider? And I, I will talk about this um, in this section in some detail, and then I'll end up with my suggested marketing strategy, which I'm currently using at the moment and seems to work for me. And to end things off, we've got our resources list. Um, this is where some of, the, some of the items are mentioned in the course. It could be free and paid tools, software that one can use to speed things up, where we can get free or paid images, and a whole host of other information. I'll be putting it all on a resource list, so you've got it all in one uh, one-stop shop, as it were. Okay, that's all for now. I look forward to uh, seeing you uh, in the next video, and we'll crack on with the course.